Um, <laughs> and the last thing I'll talk about is um, how journalists are, are wasting a lot of time fact-checking disingenuous sources. I gave a couple examples before, um, but I just want to give a couple more examples that I think are quite good, um, like this new thing where uh, Pompeo, the Secretary of State, uh, is claiming that he has enormous evidence that the virus began in the, in the, the, the lab in Wuhan. Right. And again, this is why is the story being framed from his perspective? Right. OK, he's again, this is kind of the false balance, but it's, it's you know, the, the 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 report and the article, they go on to kind of debunk it. Right. They say that, well, nobody has any evidence in medical experts and the Chinese government. And, you know, all these groups are saying it didn't start in a lab. Right. But why waste time debunking something like that? Right, because he's not saying it because he believes that he's saying it for political reasons, because the Trump administration wants to uh, blame China for everything, right? So it's quite obvious that's why he's doing it, yet still CNN frames everything coming from his perspective. Um, and the same thing for Trump, this is just from today. Um, uh, speaking to reporters today, Trump said he did in fact wear a mask during a tour of the factory, the mask making factory uh, yesterday. But, quote, I can't help if you didn't see me. Um, and the CNN uh, IT team is quite smart because they had a, they actually put a picture of Trump not wearing a mask right below a quote of him saying, you just didn't see me wearing a mask. Right? I wore one, but you didn't see me. Well, here's a picture of you actually not wearing one. Um, but again, why is it framed from Trump's denial? Right? Again, the headline should be Trump lies about wearing a mask in the factory. Right. Why, why can't the journalists do that? Again, this, this uh, uh, too much deference to reporting what powerful people were saying, right? In that, in, that, um, in that tweet, in the beginning of the article, there's nothing to say that Trump is lying, right? Even though he is lying about it. Right? Um, yeah, so that's the, all the examples that I have. Um, so this whole way that American journalists uh, are been covering this, it, it leads to a great envir an environment of great uncertainty from people. We don't, the, the, the details about the medical, uh, the medical details about the virus, a lot of people aren't, aren't clear about it. If social distancing is good or not, people, there's big debates about it in America now for some reason. Um, the, the future, the, the past, people are very uncertain about all of this because of of in many ways because of the way that journalists have been covering it. Of course, there's other things that contribute to it, right? Um, um, as I mentioned, there's been a, an increased media conglomeration, a lack of stable uh, funding for journalism, and this is very impactful, right? They can't hire medical journalists. They, they, have to, they have fewer journalists writing more stories. They don't have as much time to fact check, right? It's much easier just to live stream uh, Trump's broadcast than to hire many, many more journalists to, to report in a, in a, to fact check him live, right? So the, you know, and this is the, 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 uh, the, the economic problems that journalism is dealing with recently, right? Um, the solutions to that, I don't know, you, public funding of journalists, we, we donate more money to keep news media alive. I, you know, I, there's no easy solution for this. Um, it's probably only, it'll probably, it's, it, it, is, it is only getting worse in the future. Many newspapers around America are shutting down. Many newsrooms are laying off, off uh, the journalists because they, the, the economic crisis has stopped advertising and then they have to go out of business, right? Uh, so this is only getting worse for the near future. Um, and the journalistic routines I've talked about previously, like, like he said, she said, and covering the press conferences live and thinking that you can ask Trump a question and he'll give you an honest answer and framing stories from the powerful people's perspective, right? Uh, this just reinforces the power they have, but even if they are not credible actors, like, like Trump is, for example. Um, and of course, I don't have time to talk about this, um, but there's a lot of really good reporting that's going on. Um, and, you know, I pick examples of when it went badly, but there's many chance, many, many cases where they, they didn't frame it from Trump's perspective and did fact checking and really well before they told the story and debunked the myth before they have the lie, right? Um, so many journalists are doing a really good job from this, but always, as always, there's room for improvement. Um, 
Uh, but in the end, um, I like this like to end with a quote from uh, my favorite philosopher, Jean Baudrillard. Um, Everything which is turned into information becomes the object of endless speculation, the site of, of total uncertainty. Um, and I think that describes our, our current situation right now very well. Um, so that's all for now. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, Jessica.